What are your thoughts on second marriages? My answer comes from the perspective of a divorce lawyer who's been in practice for 26 years. And note that I believe in marriage. Although I am a divorce lawyer myself, I am not divorced and God willing, I never will be. I would like nothing better than for everyone to be so happily married that I need to find another line of work. I support and advocate for marriage, and under the right circumstances, I believe in remarriage. While there are plenty of fun, satisfying, and fulfilling things one can and should do as an unmarried person, my life would be comparatively empty without my wife, my children, and the jo incomparable joys of being a husband and father, and now a grandfather. For all the people who tell you how glad they are to be unmarried and childless, few really mean it. If you found your first marriage to be difficult, the odds are that a second marriage will be harder than your first. This is not always the case, but it usually is. This is not to say that if your first marriage failed, you should not want or try to remarry to seek and enjoy the blessings of marriage for yourself and to be a blessing to your spouse. If, however, you caused your first divorce or even struggled in your first marriage because of your own demons, you've likely got some serious character and personality flaws to correct before you can remarry successfully. Resolving your personal issues and correcting course is not insurmountable, but it is unavoidable if you want a second marriage to work. But take heart. It can be done. It's worth doing. I was once asked what I believe the three main causes of divorce are. I answered that question with this. While there are many reasons one may need or feel the need to divorce, the top three reasons, in my experience, are one, broken trust, whether that is caused by infidelity or hiding a substance abuse problem or failing to pull one's own weight, as they say, in the marriage relationship, etc. Two, placing self-interest ahead of fostering the marriage partnership which usually takes the form of expecting your spouse to be perfect and to be solely or primarily responsible for your happiness. And three, immaturity and or some kind of mental health disorder. Thus, while nobody can ensure a marriage never ends in divorce, it is crucial that your marriage, whether it's your first or second, that you and your spouse be and want to be trustworthy, be devoted, be responsible, be sober, and that you care and want to care for your individual and your spouse's mental and physical health. If you or your prospective spouse feels that's asking too much, don't marry for the second or even for the first time.